when they broke, they said, no, it cannot be broken. It's made in Germany, it has to be perfect. So we discovered a partner in Goodyear Aerospace. They started to use the Kevlar in the tires. We said, we can use them here. Everybody said, oh, you can't do aramid fiber. That's, that's ridiculous. It's not strong enough. It's going to blow up. There was a lot of development and trials, but we did it and it works. Now, let's go back. The first thing the fire department's going to reach for in an actual accident, a structural collapse, a trench rescue, is the Paratech show. One day, Peter he said, we have to develop struts because the other struts are garbage. Again, at a trade show, I looked at the product, the way they were using it. I looked at the application for it. It was totally ill-suited and not the safest thing, but it was the only thing. But I said, we've got the capabilities. For me, it was almost like a mercy mission. We can make this ourselves. This is crazy. So. We went to make struts. Introduced in 1992, the first self-locking rescue support system without pins, chains, or loose locking mechanisms was introduced. The Paratec Rescue Support Systems was the first strut system to be developed specifically for building collapse rescue and trench rescues. Paratech can take an awful lot of pride in its development. It was sophisticated and very, very effective. When I was testing our first struts, we were going up over 90,000 pounds to damage them. And this way, when you test to the point that you're collapsing this thing, you see the areas that are weakest. So that was improved. In the last five years, we've added two NT-series machines to It allows for basically zero defects. It shortens the cycle times, all right, because you're able to run a product from start to finish in the same machine to make the product the same way every time it's for the zero failures we know that it's a good product for the end user and that's saving lives lock stroke designed to be fast simple and superior in strength with automatic locking mechanism it was developed for remote placement in trench rescues as the first strut in the trench you drop it in you pressurize it auto-locks as it comes out, and it's there. It's fast, goes in, locks, and the rescuer can proceed with what they need to do, protecting the patient that's in the bottom of the trench. Acme Thread. The versatile Acme Thread Strut with a special engineered squared triple thread that collects and transfers extreme loads. The Acme Thread Strut will, as all Paratech struts, default to a locked position. It's a mechanical strut, so you need to spin the collar down, vehicle stabilization, structural collapse, and anything out there that needs to be stabilized. That can also be done from outside the trench. It just takes a little pull, a little uh, device that we manufacture called a tie tool, where we can spin the collar from outside the trench and lock that out. The rescue struts, I don't think there's any disagreement out there in the marketplace today that Paratech is the place to go. A building often collapses when struck by vehicles, and a natural extension of the rescue strut system was vehicle stabilization. The reason we came up with vehicle stabilization kits is to try to, to help the fire departments in decisions for applications that they need. We've got your standard VSK and your highway VSK going up to now we use long shores in motorway and freeway incident kits. And we started out with our standard VSK. It just stabilizes a car, stabilizes an SUV, stabilizes a light vehicle, a light truck. They've got all this equipment in a book. They got all these part numbers. They scratch their heads and think, okay, what can we do? We're looking for the manufacturer's recommendation. So we take a package that's best suited and tried for what we use in the field. But that took us a step further into the highway VSK where we added two longer struts as well. So that gives us four legs on that system where we can do multiple vehicles on an accident. And that progressed from there into your interstate motorway kits, your, your rapid extrication kits. Unlike all other systems, the Paratech Rescue Strut System was designed for heavy loads and had from day one no problem handling loads of trains and heavy trucks. Optimizing space allocated on a fire truck by using the same equipment for structural collapse and trench rescue 
for vehicle stabilization. A common problem for trench, building collapse rescues, and vehicle accidents is getting a high anchor point to lift material or recover victims. The pod system was the solution. We dedicated a big part of the company to developing base plates, attachment, coming up with solid guides. A series of pods to create higher anchor points was developed over a number of years, starting with the tripod for straight vertical lifts to bipod and monopod for lifting and shifting loads. Built strong enough to handle both victims and material loads. Bipod can also shift very heavy weights by using just two struts. The base was developed. That was very tricky that the base would work when you swing around and the base would just be positioned you know, rigidly and also change the angle at the same time. You can lift very heavy blocks of, or boulders or whatever and move. Again, using the same struts known from vehicle stabilization, building collapse and trench rescue. As Paratech developed more complex solutions, we required longer and thicker struts. The solution was the Longshore struts. The Longshore strut was developed to make a raker system, an advanced system to support buildings. Paratech made it possible to assemble and erect instantly on the spot. Longshore also enables higher support points in vehicle stabilization, vertical shoring of building collapses, and are also used in trench rescues. The opportunities came to gain credibility with FEMA. FEMA was developing the FEMA task forces for earthquake preparedness. We wanted to be part of that. We had to change the product line a little bit and make it larger diameter for the real heavy duty stuff that you would encounter on an international scale. Then we were prepared to compete in test trials, which were held in California. First they built out of wood a structure and then they press, those pieces were really cracking. Now our struts, it's a structural aluminum. Because of that, it would never get damaged. And they loved that because they could keep testing different lengths with the same pieces for, for days. And in every aspect, in every test, we shattered the competition. It didn't take anybody long to understand that if you're going to have collapse support equipment as part of any FEMA kit, it should be Paratech. The Longshore strut is the only aluminum raker system in the world to be tested at insertion heights of up to 18 feet or 5.5 meters. The good thing about Paratech is it doesn't walk away from anything. It tackles any problem that the field may come up with. All Paratech products are developed with heavy input from firefighters and fire academies around the world. Our road continues. Come along next time. For thousands of years, ships had a lot of wood on it for doing shore and still has. You gotta go down and plug that hole. You want to go down there with a handsaw and a bunch of lumber and nails, screws?